What's up guys, Imprez here. Today I'll be bringing you an Ice Climbers tech showcase, the Soy Milk Desync popularized by Ice Climbers player Soy Milk. This tech is a fantastic neutral tool for Ice Climbers as it allows them to throw out any of their grounded moves and become desynced at almost any instant in time. In order to perform your desync, you'll have to make sure the Ice Climbers are already in their running state. This can't be done out of a dash or while standing, you have to be running. Once the Ice Climbers are in their running animation, you'll want to flick your stick in the opposite direction to enter the skid animation. In the middle of this animation, you want to reset your stick to neutral and then input whatever grounded move you would like to desync off of. If you fail to reset the control stick to neutral, Nana will not become desynced and will instead perform any synced option as usual. The timing of the grounded move is relatively quick, so if you know for a fact you are resetting the control stick to neutral, but are still getting synced options, you are most likely not inputting your grounded option fast enough. So now that you know how to execute the tech, now you're probably wondering, what can I do with this tech? The Soy Milk Desync is one of the most versatile tools in the Ice Climbers arsenal. While they can Soy Milk Desync off of any grounded move, such as Jab, the most common use of Soy Milk Desync is Retreating Ice Block. This allows the Ice Climbers to perform a Desync Neutral Beat, which allows them to send a continuous stream of Ice Blocks across most of the stage. While it is much harder, this can also be done approaching with a B-Reverse Soy Milk Ice Block. This gives the Ice Climbers an approaching projectile option which forces the opponent to react in some manner. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, okay, I've mastered this. Can I do an infinite? <laughs> Yes. This footstool up tilt loop is only true on Jigglypuff because she's so floaty she won't touch the ground before you can do another up tilt. The only other reasonable infinite in the game that Ice Climbers can do is on Yoshi, which is the same thing, you just add an ice block after the footstool. I say reasonable because while there are other infinites like the one that Gimmer has shown, these ones are really the only ones that are feasible in a real match without breaking your hands. All right, all right, it's time for the cool stuff, the laving clips, the Twitter combos, the ice climber setups. While making this video, I wanted to make sure to include a good variety of combos, setups, and kill confirms so you can utilize soy milk to its full potential. It truly is a fantastic tech for ice climbers, and I suggest you learn it as soon as possible. Please enjoy the clips you're about to see. The important thing I want you to note is that while some of these are not true combos, they force your opponent to pick an option. If they shield, you get a grab. If they tech, you read the tech. If they throw out a non-disjointed attack, there's a good chance Blizzard or Squall will trade or beat it out, allowing you to continue whatever setup or kill confirm you have in mind. In the future, I hope to make more of these videos to help the ISIS community figure out what they should be doing when they're learning a new tech. Hopefully, we can cover more advanced things like this. <laughs> 